Welcome from Browning Trail Cameras and thank you for choosing to watch this video about our new Strikeforce wireless app. The purpose of this video is to show you how easy it is to get set up and get connected with your Browning cellular trail camera. One thing I do want to mention before we get started is that in this video we are using slides so that you can pause the video and read the notes as needed. Now, let's get started. As you can tell from the first slide here, the name of our app is the Strikeforce Wireless app and it is compatible with both Apple and Android devices. Simply go to either the App Store or Google Play to download the free app. As a side note, to make sure you download the correct app, make sure the icon for the app you download matches the Strikeforce Wireless app you see on your screen. Now, once you've installed the Strikeforce Wireless app, you'll want to create an account to get connected to your Browning cellular cameras. On this slide, you can see what the app will look like when you open it for the first time. From there, all you need to do is click Sign Up to get started. Once you've clicked Sign Up, you'll be directed to a pretty standard account setup page where we only need some basic contact information. Here on this slide, you can see a screenshot of the form along with a list of those items. Once you've completed this form, simply agree to the terms and conditions by checking the box and click Sign Up. Now that you've created your account, it's time to connect your first camera. On this slide, we use the Pro Scout Max Extreme as an example, but the process is pretty similar for all models. As you can see on the left side of this slide, you should receive a message in the app letting you know you've created your account correctly and it's time to connect your camera. So click Connect Camera and the Add Camera screen that you can see in the middle of this slide will pop up. Once that happens, grab the camera you want to connect and power it on and click the Mode button. For this example, we have three images of the viewer screen from the Pro Scout Max. Again, this might not be the camera you have, but it will be a similar process. Now, the first image that appears to be gray or light blue near the center of this slide is on the camera viewer screen and should say LTE Network and offer you choices of Auto, AT&T, or Verizon. Now we do recommend auto if you're on the property where you will be using the camera because it will auto detect which of the two networks has the strongest signal. But if you have a preference, based on what you know will work on the property and you're not there, you can manually select AT&T or Verizon. Once you've made your selection, you'll want to confirm the carrier by clicking the Y for yes as seen in the middle blue-gray image on the slide. Once this has been completed, you will be ready to scan the QR code with your phone via the app. Now on the slide, the blue-gray image on the right shows how the QR code will pop up. But before you scan it, you will want to make sure there is no glare and your screen is clear and clean. Now in some instances, your camera might have a sticker that has a QR code on the face of the camera that can be scanned. Either way, go ahead and press Scan QR Code on the app and a message will pop up, like the one in the lower left-hand corner of the slide, asking if you would like to have access to the camera. Here, you will want to press OK. At this point, the QR scanner will open on your phone screen in the app. Now simply hold your phone just far enough away from the camera so it can focus on the QR code. Once it's been scanned, the ICC ID and the IMEI number will auto-populate. Now if for some reason you run into a challenge scanning the QR code, no worries. There is a link in the app just below the space for the IMEI number called Trouble Finding ICC ID IMEI. This will help you locate those on your camera and once you've found them you can manually enter them into the app. Once the ICC ID and IMEI information has been filled in, You'll want to do two more things on this particular screen. The first is you'll want to name your camera so it's easier to identify what camera it is. And secondly, we'd like for you to let us know where you purchased your camera at the bottom of the screen. This can be super helpful for us when working with our retail partners moving forward. Now once you've completed that process, you can click Add Camera. Now that you've clicked Add Camera, a screen should pop up letting you know that this camera has been successfully added to your account. Here you can see what that screen looks like with a green check mark confirming that you are ready to move to the next step. So press the gold Continue to Subscriptions button at the bottom of the screen to keep things moving along. 
how on the left of the selecting a subscription screen you're looking at, we are highlighting our new unlimited plan. As you can see, the first camera on this plan is only $14.99 a month and each additional camera is only $9.99 per month. But on that same screen in your app, you can scroll up and down and choose from other plans ranging from $9.99 to $49.99 a month. And if you have questions about any of the plans, you can click on show details to learn more. Now we do have a graphic on this page that shows you some more details about each of these plans, but if you really want to do some research before activating your account, you can go to our website at browningtrailcameras.com and visit our mobile plans page to learn more. Now once you have chosen your subscription and are ready to move forward, press select. And once you've done that, you should have a message pop up like the one on your screen that says success, and it has two green check marks. From there, you can see that you have two options, add another camera or click review subscription to keep moving forward. The review subscription slide you're looking at has a screenshot of where you should land after clicking review subscription. Here you'll simply want to confirm everything is as you want it. If not, you can click change subscription and repeat the selection process or you can click check out now where you are almost done. After pressing the Check Out Now button, you will be directed to another standard form where you will simply enter your payment information, press Save, check the box confirming you have reviewed everything, and then press Pay Now. On your device, you will see a message now, like the one on the right side of the slide that you're looking at that says Thank You. From here, we recommend that you run the LTE test detailed on page 6 of your instruction manual just to make sure everything is to your liking before putting the camera out. Now that we've made it this far, it's time for the fun to begin. So once your test image has transmitted, it's time to check out the new app. We're constantly working to give users the experience they both want and need. So jump in there and see what features your plan has. Whether it's transmitting HD images and videos, the enhanced filtering options, or the all-inclusive dashboard for controlling your cameras, you can manage your cell cameras the way you want to with the new Strikeforce wireless app from Browning Trail Cameras.